Welcome back, my friends. We are up to Revi'i, Parshas Vayera, Revi'i, moving along with the Shnaimik of Echetargum. This, uh, we come to a well-known story, an unfortunate, interesting story, and that is that the daughters of Lot end up now being with him. They said, we got to get him drunk, and we got to have a relationship with him, and this is what ends up happening. Each one has a relationship with their father, and uh, if you look at the Pesukim, Pasuk says that with the first one, I didn't know uh, what was going on because he was drunk when the B'Shichva, when he was lying down with her, and he was getting up. However, though, it is on, on the, if you look at the Torah, there's a Nakud, there's a Dad that's located on the word Uvakuma, and it teaches us that what Rashi says, that really... He didn't know about the lying down, but he did know about the getting up. And even though he knew about the going up, what had happened, he didn't stop himself from getting drunk again. And we see that his behavior was really not okay. And that's what happens when you go hang out in the wrong places. He's hanging out in Sodom for so long, he gets the wrong idea. He ends up being with his own daughters. Terrible, terrible story about what happened over there. In any event, this is what happens. And they have two children. Each one has a child. One's Amon, one's Moab. And uh, when ultimately Mashiach comes from one of these, right? The Rus, Hamoaviyah, comes from this. Uh, that's a whole discussion in Mepharshim about how Mashiach is a coming away, which is hidden, and people don't know and don't realize it's going to happen. It has to be secret to trick the Satan to not stop it. And then moves on with this story about Avimelech and Sarah, when Sarah gets taken by Avimelech, and uh, he doesn't know that they're married, right? Imino Achosiat. These are all, these parshas are filled with like the tests of Avim Avinu, and didn't realize that uh, who he was, and Hashem appears and says, you better give her back because uh, you're going to get in big trouble if not. And he's like, okay, I, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know. You can't only count. I was like, that's why I didn't give you the smack then yet. Although I did give you the smack then. They were punished and they weren't able to, to have relationships and even use the bathroom. That's because of sorry, what she had said. And Avram, he goes and approaches Avram. How could you do such a thing? How could you do this to me? And he says, yeah, what do you want from me? There's no Yerush Hashem here, no Yerush Shemayim, and this is what happens over here. We then get to the famous, famous story, which we read on Rosh Hashanah, and that is that Hashem remembers Sarah, and they have a child. And that child's name is Yitzchak. They finally have a child, Baruch Hashem. And then it says over there, at the very end of the, of the, of the, of the, of the Aliyah, and although we saw in Parshas Lechelcha, the idea of Bris Mila, there's only three mitzvahs in the entire Sefer Barashas, one of them being Bila. Over here we have, over here, uh, at the very end, that's uh, Kashar Tziva, so Elokim, and we know the mitzvah of Bris Mila is on the, on the father and not on the mother, and he was willing to go and do such a thing. The Sefer Achinach says a beautiful thing. Why does the Kodesh Baruch who create us in a way that we need to do Mila? In order to teach it, just like the physical body needs things to be worked on, so too the Neshama has things that need to be worked on. And therefore, just so we fix up the body, we have to fix up our soul. Okay, my friends, we're going to stop over here. Continue at Slacha in your Shtai Mikra. V'yechad Targa.